I mean, the slightest error and you can be off. Oh. I have been backwards down the track. To learn on, so she may well have more experience there. Oh, so here oh, we go. Oh, crash. And that is the result of getting a bad exit out of the track. It's you, you on the ice, you'll get bruises, you'll get bumps, you'll get concussions, but I think that's the sport. What on earth are these two girls thinking, especially 17-year-old Ashley, who only got on a loose track for the first time last year? I was actually pretty calm. I, I had no idea what to expect, but the second time I went down, I was a lot more nervous, I'd experienced it, and I had a lot of adrenaline pumping through me. What makes Ashley's story all the more remarkable is she had a major disadvantage to the rest of the competitors. Oh, well, in fact, I'd never seen snow before I'd gone over. Um, so it was all very new and very different. Go, go! Lucy Fellow Winter Olympics hopeful and skeleton competitor Lucy Chaffer has had more time in the snow but still can't get over one thing. I'm a summer person and I do not like the cold. Um, yeah, I'm probably one of the ones that complain the most. Training in Australia isn't easy. The lack of facilities making it difficult to not only get acclimatised but to get much needed practice. We don't have our own tracks. There's nothing in the Southern Hemisphere. So we don't get the access to the tracks like the Germans, the Austrians, um, the Canadians get that. We might have, you know, 50 runs compared to 200 that they have, but um, we kind of make it count with the runs that we get. We certainly make it count and we've shown that even though we have that slight disadvantage, um, we can still mix it with them and we can still beat them on, at their own track. It's difficult to prepare for competition. Instead of a winter wonderland, Ashley is restricted to training in the gym or on the street. Okay, shoulders back, on the pod. It's not a totally unique situation where competitors from hot countries have realised their Olympic dreams. Some have even been immortalised in film. Yeah, you know, that's the biggest one of when you say what you do. A lot of people, first of all, don't know what skeleton is, so, oh, what is that? Well, it's kind of like Bob said, oh, yeah, you're cool runnings. Well, yeah, kind of, but a little bit different. <laughs> Both competitors have needed plenty of help to get this far. Well, I've had friends that are very supportive, my family is very supportive as well. Um, it didn't surprise them that I was going to jump into another sport and pursue my Olympic dream. Something come a little crazy, but... Yeah, they've all been fantastic. Perhaps in February, WA will be celebrating two more unlikely Olympic heroes. Ryan Miller, Project WA.